Hello, welcome to another Blender tutorial, and today we're going to cover material converters in Octane. Now the latest version of Octane has seen some improvements to the material converter, so we're going to go over that now. It's important to note that material converter does not convert everything. Its main job right now is to convert PBR texture sets from Blender Cycles to Octane. So let's keep that in mind as we go through this. So we're going to demonstrate this using the Kitbash 3D Cyberpunk kit. Now you can import in the FBX version or the OBJ version of the kit. Okay, we're back now. Everything is loaded. Let's take a look. I am going to change the clip distance. Add another zero. Okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, before we do that, I'm going to drop a plane. Just make this bigger. I'm going to turn on the... Okay, so this part is really for Octane, but we're not running the Octane engine right now, so we're just going to leave this on the side. And let me see, I'm going to bring in the HDRI. Bring in the airport and let me take a look at the color management settings since it's set to raw standard so we have all the objects loaded up right now but the fbx might load it up but it might not set up every single texture that you need so there is a need to check everything after you're done so i'm going to look at some of the billboard signs and this looks good but these set of signs don't look correct so we're going to select this we're going to look at the light emission textures here and it looks like none of the textures loaded up for this. So that's something we need to investigate. So I'm going to load in an image texture. We're going to look at the name which is Light C. And we're going to go to that directory. We're going to look for Light C. Light C. And there are a set of textures here. So let's do that. Plug this to here. I'm gonna duplicate this. Load the next one. Let's see again. I can spell that right. Next one is mission. So let's do mission. Color goes to emission. Ah, uh, look at that. Now the color is correct. Duplicate this again. Okay, that's set up correctly. I'm going to hide all these buildings and just leave this ground plane and I am using the ground plane to sort through all the materials just to check them to see that all the textures are loaded correctly. Oh, just to let you know that all the Atlas textures, a lot of them have opacity or something that you feed into the alpha channel. So let's take a look to see which one has that. And when you look through it, these are the materials that have an opacity map. So we need to go through each one of these materials and load in an opacity for them. Now we're on Atlas Detail, so I'm just going to select that. Feed this into the alpha. And this should be a non-color. I'm going to copy this. Go to Halo A. Okay, so now everything's set up. I'm going to bring this back to the ground. Oh, 
unhide everything. Bilbo looks good. Let's take a look at the glass because that does not look right. So I'm going to select the ground plane and swap that and look for the glass material here. Let's type in glass and there's two type of glass which is glass cyan C and glass yellow C. Let's take a look at cyan C. And it doesn't look like there's any textures here. So let's investigate. Image node. Type in glass in the uh, directory. And we have glass cyan C and glass yellow C. And it looks like those were not loaded. So that's something we need to deal with. We're going to use the base color emission. We're going to skip height for displacement. Metallic normals. We're probably not going to use refraction because these buildings don't have actual floors. So we'll skip that and then roughness. So that should be it for glass. Let's take a look to see how everything looks. Let's turn this back to the ground texture. Building looks good. So I'm going to turn this off and just kind of cycle through the materials really quickly, all the materials. Let's see, just to make sure everything looks correct. Don't really need this right now. Atlas, let's see, all textures and no weird nodes in between. Same thing here. Let's speed this up. All right, everything looks good. I don't see anything that's in between. These set of textures look great. So I think we'll save it right now and then uh, let's go to converting. Now that we have gone through all the materials, and check that cycles materials are validated for conversion to Octane's universal material setup, we can now start doing it. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, just select one material that has a cycles uh, material node, which can be any one of them. I'm just going to select the ground texture right now. This should be ground. And I want to make sure that we are using Octane as the render engine. So now that Octane is selected as a render engine and we have selected a Cycles node in the Octane render engine, it's going to give us a convert option here. If this is already a universal material, this won't exist. We're going to hit convert and it's going to give us three options, which is convert the current material. We can also convert all materials in one object that we select, or we can convert the entire scene. We're just going to convert the entire scene. So after we do the conversion, what Octane does is create a copy of your original node and it'll be appropriately named original so we can refer to it. But we also get to see the updated universal material version of it. So if you ever need to check it, you always have the original to fall back to. And after you've done everything, you check everything, you can always clean it out by going to clean up and recursive unused data blocks. You click that and you can delete all those original nodes that has not been assigned to any objects. So one thing to keep in mind is specular. In universal material, specular defaults to one. Let's take a look at the original. I'm gonna lock this so it doesn't switch. And you can see that principal BSDF in cycles, it defaults to 0.5. It's important to understand that 
and I've done a few tests to take a look at this, but specular at 0.5 is equal to specular for universal material at 1. When you translate from cycles to universal material, the specular value got to be multiplied by 2. So this is the same if you have a texture. If you plan to use a specular texture, then you have to use a power of 2 on the specular texture value in universal material. Something that is important to understand also is that specular has no effect beyond 1 in universal material. So if you want it to be more reflective, you actually have to use more metallic value in it. It's just the way universal material works. It doesn't work exactly the same as the principal DPSCF. And let's take a look, see if everything looks all right in Octane. Okay, so the color looks a little bit off, so I am suspecting that we did not turn off the color management. Let's take a look. Yes, it's set to standard. So standard means that um, Blender will apply some type of color profile to it. We want to set it to raw and allow Octane to apply it. see uh, we did correct this I'm not sure what's going on here it might be too bright though maybe not bright enough and there you go let's take a look when we uh, make it look like a night scene all right, that's it. So if you like this tutorial or if you've learned something from it, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you.